Hey guys. Today was extremely difficult um, and frustrating and I don't really know what to do. So one of my classes is very chatty and I know that and we tried to let them do group work today and it just didn't work. They were so loud and so disrespectful like I don't like like giving the cliche teacher speeches or whatever like you're being disrespectful I don't feel respected I will give you respect if you do you need to stop talking like I I had to give that speech today and I didn't like it and uh, I had to take away their break in between their two blocks we worked right through the break we worked right up until the last bell and um yeah there's like like half and half half of the kids just keep talking over me sorry and the other half are paying attention and like doing what they're supposed to do and i hate to take the break away from everybody it just like yeah so i was so distracted by discipline that the lesson didn't go as well as i wanted and people were confused and the time I could have spent trying to explain things further and like help other students understand was spent like you guys are too loud like come back bring it back tone it down you know all this stuff and I just it was exhausting I am exhausted just from that like I don't even know I don't have words it was just hard. Hopefully things will get better and I'll find some ways to get through to them. And if you guys have any good classroom management suggestions, I'm totally open to them. Um, yeah, my teacher and I are just trying to figure out like how to get through to these students and how to keep them on task and yeah, just what to do. God, I look I look awful. I just look so exhausted. I'm so sorry. I'm going to look back on this one day and just be like, oh, girl, you should have done this. Or like, you're about to do this. Don't worry. It'll get better. Hey, guys. It is very late in the evening after school. Not very late. It's almost 6 o'clock. Um, so today was much, much better than yesterday. The two classes that I had responded so much better to the activity and they worked on it and their their discussion and their conversation was just leaps and bounds better than yesterday and the classes that I had today really made up for the hard day that I had yesterday so that was really nice um, I really enjoyed the day today and it I mean I still had to remind them to like be quiet like not get too loud but like they were working and they were staying on task and like one class was being kind of silly and goofy but it was over the work and like it was only after they were done working that they were like being silly about other things so I'm really happy with how it went and um yeah I didn't feel uh disrespected I don't know if I said this yesterday I, I felt disrespected yesterday and today I didn't feel that way I felt like for the most part they really were working um hard and i made sure to thank them for that and yeah it's amazing how big of a difference that how much of a difference that makes um yeah so that is what i have right now on thursday my supervisor is coming for her first observation so this is where she'll like watch me instruct the class and give me a rating I guess the kids are they're getting oh these kids are good so they're like testing me and trying to learn about my personal life and stuff and just like who I am and both days in all four classes I've had kids be like Miss Byler what do you do after school do you have pets like do what do you do like do you enjoy teaching I had one of them the only one that I've answered okay wait there were two yesterday a kid tricked me he was like so he he knew I was having a, like a hard time in class and he was like Miss Byler are you gonna go home tonight and 
I was like, no, I'm gonna go home and relax. He goes, do you have a pet? Do you have a cat? And I was like, no, no. Well, what do you do after school? And I was like, mm, we're not talking about that right now. So he tricked me a little bit, but then they were asking me today, they're like, do you like teaching? And I was like, yes, I like teaching. They're like, well, why do you like teaching? And I said, we're not talking about that right now. Right now I am teaching you. And there was a time. Okay, so I don't know where I was, but I've, I ran out of storage on my phone. So I'm home now and I'm about to finish telling you what happened. So basically, they're just trying to get me, get me off track. And I'm like, I know your games, y'all. I know your games. You can't get me off track. And I am planning on having like a an AMA, ask me anything. Scott taught me about that off of Reddit. Uh, but I'm going to make it, it has to be school appropriate. So you can't ask me like, do you go drinking on the weekends? Like, I don't. But I'm going to say, it's not school appropriate. You can't ask me that. So... Yeah, they're just getting curious, trying to get me off topic. Some might be genuinely curious about me, I don't know. And who doesn't like want to talk about themselves? So it's really hard like, to not be like, wait, let me tell you everything. So, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Okay, bye. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I have one more thing I want to tell you guys. Okay, so we were talking about our lesson, and I asked them what, what a flashback was. And one of the girls was like, a flashback, Raven has those. And I said, no, she sees the future. Like, I can gaze into the future, future. And I like, I sang it. And they were like, what? Yeah, I was like, mm hmm I know, I know. I'm cool. You're embarrassing. <gasps> no. Hey guys. Oh my gosh, just got out of my teacher class been a long day um but exciting news exciting news i am officially an official teacher because during my lunch i forgot to pee i know i know i'm so proud of me too in other news i did a fun activity with well what i thought was fun with my students to help them understand prepositions a little bit better so i did like a slideshow about prepositions like just the facts about them and then um, I got this idea from my teacher she gives them an outline of a house and has them draw pictorial represent rep representations of prepositions to help them remember so I did an example house and so for my house I have my house and then walking behind which is a preposition, the house is Bigfoot. So Bigfoot is walking behind the house. Uh, I did an alien spaceship is above the house. Uh, a chupacabra is digging a tunnel under the house. Um, and then like under the house, like with the tunnel, I had a skeleton of a T-Rex and a treasure chest like underground. So it's like all these other things are under the house it was I was on a conspiracy theory kick yesterday when I was doing it so I am pretty darn proud of myself it's pretty awesome if I do say so myself and like the kids were like uh, like I told them like oh I have a fun activity I have a reward for you if you do well with these notes and they're like uh, when I showed it to them they were like oh but then they really got into it so I think they did at least they seem to have fun a lot of them you know they were engaged they were having fun. They were like, some of them had themes. Like one of the kids did memes. He did like a, a meme theme. Um, and I was going around just like, oh, well, what is this? And what is your prepositional phrase to go with it? Or what's your preposition to go with it? And I think it went over pretty well. So we'll see how it goes with tomorrow. I think tomorrow we'll also really enjoy it. Um, yeah, so that's all I have. Okay. Um, guys, who the heck am I? I am here so early and I got one of the like early bird spots today which I never thought would happen and it probably won't happen again. I have, I mean like everything just worked out that I was able to be here usually at the time that I'm leaving to come here. <laughs> like wow I was here, I am here so early. But there's a bunch of stuff that I want to work on. Um, I have some lesson plans that I want to work on and print out. Maybe if I turn... Oh! Would you look at that? Um, I have some lesson plans that I want to make and print out. I have... Um, I don't think I have copies to make, but I have some things to print out. 
so yeah my supervisor comes today for my first uh, not assessment observation she'll be here and I'm really sad because today is we're so not supposed to but we could wear Indians gear and I don't Cleveland Indians I don't have Cleveland Indian stuff so I just wore a gray tank top with a red sweater and I was gonna wear Scott's Cleveland Indians hat so that I could wear jeans like that's the only way we're only way we were allowed to wear jeans today hey guys it's the end of the day um my video would not let me record so I think I was in the middle of telling you about my eye it freaked out and I couldn't put any eye makeup on it or my contacts in so I'd wear glasses so I couldn't wear my hat so yeah, I'm just in like black pants because you know what? They're actually a little bit more comfortable than jeans. So anyway, it is the end of my day. I got through my very first observation, which I wasn't even worried about. Like she's really nice. And I mean, honestly, like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And that's all, that's all I can ask for. And that's all that they can ask for. So I wasn't worried about it at all. Um, but my lessons went really well, and I want to show you guys my lesson. I taught them about prepositions and prepositional phrases. My teacher actually gave me this idea, and I did it with them. So what they had to do was they got, I printed off just this house here, and then they had to use prepositions and write or draw pictorial representations of prepositional phrases. So like a preposition is behind so I have Bigfoot walking behind the house and then the prepositional I move my keys the prepositional prepositional phrase is behind the house so this one I have the alien spacecraft is above the house above the house being the prepositional phrase the chupacabra is digging a tunnel under the house under is your preposition under the house prepositional phrase and then just for fun I drew a t-rex skeleton and a treasure chest underneath the house as well and the students it turned out really well and they had a lot of fun with it like at first some of them were kind of reluctant and they were like oh yeah this is fun and then once they got into it they were like having a lot of fun like actually having fun and I went around to do formative assessments which is just like a like quick recall just quickly checking to see if they know the content so formative assessment is like a casual kind of thing. Went around and did like a casual check to see if they knew uh, what they were doing and all of them did really well. I had one of them who was kind of confused, but I, I talked it over with him and reviewed really quick and he was like, oh yeah, I get it now. And I think that this will really help them hold on to the idea of prepositions and prepositional phrases. Now, I'm not asking them to memorize all prepositions because there are so many of them, but this will help them. And yeah, I'm just really excited how well it went. And my supervisor liked everything that I was doing. She thought the activity was really helpful. And um, yeah, she said that I had good classroom management, even though that's something that I've been worrying about lately. She said I had good control over the class and yeah that things just went well she liked my lesson um and that they were engaged and yeah she just everything went well 